So working over the midterm test, I'll go ahead and start it up here and um, then we'll see how it goes. So there it is. Uh, we're going to work number one first. So I'm just going to copy the problem so I don't have to be referring back to it so much. And I'm going to paste it in here. And then just to make it a little bit easy, let me go ahead and just spread it over a few cells. Um, I'll merge and center left justify, wrap the cells, make it about three tall. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can see it better as well. Um, okay, so my first step of what I'm going to try to do here is that uh, I'm going to read the problem. Divide $80 among three people so the second will have twice as much as the first and the third will have $5 less than the second. Um, so, the question there is, how do I divide $80 into three shares that satisfy the given criteria? Okay. Um, so, I'm going to say here that we have an amount to be divided. We'll put um, 80 bucks in the amount to be divided. That'll work. Okay. We have three people. I'm going to be a little bit adventuresome and name them person A, person B, person C. Okay. And we know that these three added together should equal 80. Um, I can put a formula here or not, it doesn't really matter. I've got the amount that they need to sum to up top and I will error check it in. But we'll go ahead and just put there um, to see what they sum to and that should equal 80. Now let's read the problem some more. So there are um, some conditions here that we have to, to satisfy. That would be our decision criteria. Uh, so looking at our decision criteria, um, we know that we have to divide the 80 amongst the three people or to put that another way we know that a plus person a plus person b plus person c should equal the 80 so that's what i've got there is a plus b plus c should equal 80 we know that okay uh, the second thing we know is that person b um, so the second person will have twice as much as the first so for person B there, um, let's see, I'm going to do person A um, plus person B plus person C. Okay, and um, I'm going to go ahead and make that equal to 80. Um, let's do this this way. I'm just trying to make it more readable. It doesn't really matter here because I'm going to work these out by hand anyway. So um, let's say per A plus B um, equals 80. Okay. Okay. We get A plus B plus C equals 80, uh, and then the second person has twice as much as the first. So if the first person is A, then we know that um, B is going to have twice as much as A. Okay. And I know that because it's given right here. The second person will have twice as much as the first. B is the second person. They'll have twice as much as A. Um, okay. And then um, the third person will be $5 less than the second. So the third person is person C. And person C is going to have um, $3.50. Okay. 
the same amount as person B minus five dollars okay so that lays out my problem that's basically worked right there now all I've got to do is to solve for these equations uh, to find out what numbers satisfy all those so to start that off let's go ahead and solve for A and with A I'm going to say A plus okay, B but we know that B is equal to 2A so I want common terms there so A plus 2A okay, plus C and C expressed, expressed in terms of um, A would be, well C um, expressed in terms of um, B would be uh, B minus 5 but we know that B is 2A so I'm going to say 2A minus 5 um, and we know that should equal to 80 okay and if we go through and solve that a plus 2a is 3a plus 2a is 5a um, erroneous mark there sorry okay and sorry make this a little bit bigger uh, I tell you what, I'm going to do it this way. We'll just do 5a equals. Uh, no. There's the minus 5. And once again, just since I've kind of um, made this interesting, it's what I'm looking at here on solving for a is a. Um, plus the value for B so that would be a plus 2a plus the value for C which is B minus 5 except for I want to substitute in the 2a for the B to put everything in terms of a so the 2a minus 5 equals 80 okay that should get us back on the right track now sorry about that so there's our 5a equals 80 plus 5 because we add 5 to both sides and then 5a equals 85 and then a e a equals ah oh shit a uh, equals 17. Sorry about that. Uh, the autocomplete's just kicking my tail there. So now I know that A equals 17 when I solve for A. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for B. Okay. So solving for B. Um, okay. Um, looking at the formula there for B, B equals 2 times A, so B equals 2 times A. Okay. And we can just put that as 2A since that's what we're more accustomed to doing. Um, And since we know that B equals 2A and we know what A is, that gives us B equals 2 times 17, which is 34. Okay. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and include that in the equation just to show you. Okay. Okay. So hopefully that is fairly easy. Um, solve for C. You can kind of see how we're going on this now. C 
equals b minus 5. Um, so therefore c equals, we know b equals 34 minus 5 and c equals 29. Okay. Um, so everything looks like we probably have it pretty decent right there. Um, so going through A equals 17, B equals 34, and C equals 29. And we want to do our sum here that, because I copied it over the wrong way, didn't like that. And our sum equals 80. So that does check out. Everything's good. Um, and that would be our answer on that one if we were to work it out by hand. Now, most of the time, we're not going to work these out by hand because they're not going to be as easy as what I just showed necessarily. So, um, so that was just doing it manually.